Hey, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? So I know I've been so behind. Unreal Engine 4.27 is out now officially. There's a new live link phase, and now there's an RTX GI already available in the marketplace. So what we're going to be talking about today is just that NVIDIA RTX GI. Now, a couple of months back, I was lucky enough to play around with this technology thanks to NVIDIA. Uh, this is pretty exciting stuff, to be honest. And now it's available for you to download in the Epic Marketplace. To get the RTX GI, just go ahead and go to the Marketplace and type in Global. Ill. And then it's going to be right here, RTX Global Illumination. Basically what this is, if you haven't seen my videos before about it, this is Global Illumination that is hardware based. So if you have an RTX card, like right now I'm using the RTX A6000, this is going to work with this or it should work with this. So yeah, go ahead and go to the external link right now and it's going to take you to a different page. I already downloaded it and just to make sure that it worked. So let's go ahead and go right here. If you go to this page, just agree to everything. And what you're going to do is agree here. It's going to let you download it pretty much. So download that. So what that's going to do is actually give you this file right here. So just go in that file. You might have to unzip it or something like that. Copy this right here and then go to your Epic Games plugin folder. Oh my God, I only have 126 gigabyte left. Oh jeez. Go to uh, Epic Games program files. Epic Games right here, 4.27. We're going to go to Engine, Plugins, and then we're going to go to Runtime right here. And then there should be NVIDIA down here. And just copy and paste that. And as you can see, it's already in here, so we can save some time. That's all I did. Just copy and pasted what I downloaded from that website. Okay, so this map right here is the classic mansion map. If you've probably seen me use this before, this is the most photorealistic uh, classic mansion I have ever found in the marketplace. So worth it. It's huge. I'm planning on making more movies in here for sure. This is a really nice map. Uh, too bad he doesn't make maps anymore. He probably got picked up by a big studio or something like that. So in Unreal Engine 4.27, we're going to enable that plugin now. So if we go to Edit, Plugins, and all you have to do is type in global and go ahead and click on enable and then it's going to let you restart. But don't restart yet because we actually have to enable ray tracing as well because you need that. So go to project settings and we're going to type in ray tracing and just enable that there. Additionally, you have to change your RHI pretty much usually like how you would normally turn on ray tracing. And you're just going to change this to direct X12 and make sure direct X11 and 12 SM5 is already checked as well. And it's good. And I'm going to go ahead and close this. Now, it's probably going to make a restart and compile shaders. So you might have to wait for all that. All right, so what we're going to do is go to this output log. If you can't see this, go to Windows and go to Developer Tools and click on Output Log. This is kind of like your command prompt. So you can type stuff like Black Sheep Wall or something like that. You can type all kinds of commands in there. But what we're actually going to need is Experimental. So type in Experimental. And it's going to be our Glumination Experimental Plugin. And then press Enter. It should be zero for you or false. Go ahead and enable that by pressing one, and that should be good to go. And the next thing I'm going to do is just turn off texture streaming so we don't get that annoying uh, over budget kind of deal. So I turned that off to zero. Usually that is one there. Uh, just be careful when you do that. Make sure your graphics card has a lot of memory so you don't crash your computer and stuff like that. And then the next thing we're going to do is actually turn on the uh, RTX global illumination and it's going to be rtxgi.ddgi which is already enabled here because it says it's true so that's pretty much the setup here go ahead and close this out it's already on that's true and i can kind of move around here change my mouse speed real quick but this map oh man it's so amazing uh and then to actually use the volume itself uh you actually have to go to the actors here and type in ddx volume or dd dd DDGI volume, drag and drop it here. And what you're going to do is press G and you want to scale this to cover your scene, okay? So it works just like a usual volume. So go ahead and scale it to however big you want. I'm just going to go with like 20 by 20 by 20, 20 like that. So that means that it's covering kind of like my entire scene. And if I want to back out, just see how massive this map is. Such a beautiful map. This is what we need more of. But as you can see there, it's going to be covering pretty much majority of our area here. And what I'm going to do is actually just decrease that height. Oh, because this is only 2. So let's go ahead and do it at 20 as well. And we can dec decrease this right here to 10 or maybe even 20 here. It's locked. That's why. So let's go ahead and 20 right here. And that should cover my entire mansion. So, yeah, that's pretty good. But if you want just a small room to be covered, that's fine as well. So let's go ahead and move in here so we can see. 
Now, one of the benefits about Global Illumination and RTX GI is it is real time, but it's hardware based. Okay, so that means that if you have a good GPU, you can take advantage of this. If you think about it, Lumen in Unreal Engine 5 is software based. So that means that if you want to kind of accelerate your global illumination before Unreal Engine 5, you can use this option. Now, this is, in my opinion, a lot faster since I have an RTX 3090 and now the A6000 than the traditional RTX global illumination in Unreal Engine 4. Okay, so I, hopefully that kind of makes sense. And now let me just show you what this actually does. So just to make sure that everything is good to go, we're going to turn off all the pre-computed lights so that it's not messing up our level here. So I'm going to go to world settings. And as you can see right here, I'm going to click this force, no pre-computed lighting, and I'm going to turn that off so that it, we're not getting like two lighting and they're just fighting each other. We don't want that. And we're going to go to the DDG volume because it's now going to be part of this. And I'm going to go to details. And now I can turn this on and off. And you can kind of see the difference already that that's doing. All right. And it's, you can see that it is really just bumping and bouncing light around because in reality, in real life, Light hits something and then it just keeps bouncing until the energy is spent. And that's what global illumination is actually mimicking. And to kind of make this a little bit better as far as exaggerating things, I'm going to delete a lot of these lights here because to me, this really mimics, say, like a cinematographer blasting a really bright light from the outside and just letting it bounce everywhere right just like shooting through something and filling the room because that looks really good in my opinion at least and majority of cinematographers out there this is how they light things which is very very cinematic in my opinion let's take a look at this uh lighting right here we don't have any more lights but what i'm going to do is actually build this light so that it's just off so i'm going to build the lighting and that should turn everything off as you saw there now what you're seeing now is actually just exponential uh, height fog, right? So if I turn that off, you can see that that looks like straight garbage. And um, that's okay because we don't have any more lights in there. So if I turn this on, I'm going to go ahead and decrease this a little bit. And this is kind of like what I was talking about, like what cinematographers would usually do. And this is how I usually light scenes in Unreal Engine as well. And I know I'm going to make tutorials on how to do that as well later on. So, all right, so what we're going to do next is actually turn off our uh, exposure. We're going to change this to manual. And we'll just change this to like, you know, like 12 is okay. Let's go with 12. And what I'm going to do is actually create a light, right? So I'm going to create a light right here. I'm going to make this movable. Because what's, what I'm going to do is actually bounce this light. All right, so what I'm going to do is actually bounce this light up so you can kind of see how it's going to affect the entire scene using just one light, right? So I'm going to go ahead and crank this up to like 500. And you can see nothing is really happening much. Nothing's changing there. So let's turn this up to a lot. And you're starting to see that you can see the little particles, the little uh, ashes or dust now flying around, which is kind of cool. And we'll go to DDG now. I'm going to turn this on. And I'm going to go ahead and enable this volume here. And as you can see, the room starts to light up. Because like I said earlier, global illumination really is just light bouncing right so now when i turn that on it looks like it's overcast but it's softer right and that is really the magic of global illumination and like i said this is similar to lumen but this is hardware instead of software. So if you want to learn more about RTX GI, they do have the plugin installation guide and the quick start guide, which has a lot of information about this. I barely scratched the surface when it comes to RTX GI.